Welcome to Wonder House Story Time. Children's books read aloud. The Golden Acorn by Katie Hudson. Squirrel loved being fast. She could fly through the trees faster than anybody and had the trophy collection to prove it. Her most prized trophies were from the annual Golden Acorn Hunt. Only the fastest racers won the Golden Acorn, and Squirrel had taken it home the last eight years. But this year was different. All those competing in tomorrow's Golden Acorn Hunt must do their part as a team, Beaver read. The Golden Acorn Hunt, established in 1928, the fastest race, rule change. All those competing in tomorrow's Golden Acorn Hunt must do as part of a team. Squirrel scoffed, but I'm the fastest animal in the forest. I don't need a team, but we'd love to be on your team, Squirrel, said Rabbit brightly. You? Squirrel looked at her friends. They really didn't seem like race material, but Squirrel had no choice. The race was tomorrow. Maybe a little training would do the trick. Or maybe not. The 60th Annual Golden Acorn Hunt The next morning, Squirrel gathered her team at the starting line. The Golden Acorn has been hidden, the judge yelled. Ready, set, go! Whoosh! Squirrel was off, overtaking all the other racers, even her own team. Squirrel, wait, her friends called. We've lost Tortoise. Ugh, Tortoise, huffed Squirrel, pacing back. Squirrel grabbed Tortoise, plopped him back on the branch, and took off again. But not for long. Squirrel, wait! Her friends called once more. We're all tangled up! Squirrel untangled her friends and was off yet again for about ten seconds. You can't be serious! Squirrel moaned. Squirrel, wait! Her friends called. Beaver is stuck! Oh, come on! Squirrel groaned. Once Beaver's bottom was pushed free, Squirrel was off as fast as her feet would carry her. So fast that she didn't even hear her friends calling for her. Over logs and under branches, inside trunks and over treetops. Squirrel raced as fast as she could to find the golden acorn, until there it was! It was the biggest golden acorn Squirrel had ever seen. She pried it from the hiding spot and took off. But the golden acorn was heavy, much too heavy to carry alone. And there was only Squirrel all by herself. Squirrel and her golden prize. After lots and lots of rolling and pushing and heaving, she took a little rest. She was tired and sweaty and lonely. As Squirrel looked upon all the other racers, still searching for the acorn, she realized she had lost her friends. The golden acorn would just have to wait. Whoosh! Off Squirrel raced faster than she ever had before. Over logs, under branches, inside trunks, and over treetops. Until... There they were! After lots and lots of rolling and pushing and heaving, Squirrel had her friends back. Her team didn't come in first, and they didn't get a trophy, but it didn't matter. From now on, Squirrel's friends 
would always come first.